Hello and welcome to Lutherans Alive. My name is Gregory Held, and this is the program that brings you the story of Lutheran Christians and their ministries in southwestern Pennsylvania. With us today is Michelle Kunkel. Michelle is Director of Christian Education and Youth Ministry at Holy Trinity Lutheran Church in Irwin. Michelle, welcome. Thank you. It's great to have you with us. Um, our viewers might not remember, but uh, we had you with us on a previous program, and as it turned out, the production didn't work out. We had some uh, technical difficulties, as we say. That's true. Um, in, the, in the business. Uh, so we're very happy to have you back and to give you a chance to share a bit of uh, where your journey is taking you these days. I'm glad to have the chance. Uh, again, you're at Holy Trinity in Irwin. And uh, we were talking just before the program, you're coming up on a second anniversary already. I am. And you're enjoying it very much, you said. Yes, I'm very blessed to be there. Great. Um, just for folks who might not have been to uh, Irwin or be familiar with Holy Trinity, how would you describe uh, the community and uh, the church's uh, place there? Well, Holy Trinity is in downtown Irwin, which is the more historical area. It's a beautiful old church. It was built in the 1800s. And um, they added the educational building on in, in the 1950s. And uh, they've had different aims and deaconesses serving there as DCYMs over the years. And so I'm one in a long line and very glad to be there. Mm -hmm. And that's east of Pittsburgh out Route 30 a ways. Correct. And uh, some folks uh, are familiar with uh, that, that stretch of road, but uh, some are not as well. Um, maybe we could start just by talking a little bit about your uh, faith connections uh, growing up. What, what uh, were your connections to church Certainly. and family uh, in the early days? Well, I grew up uh, in the same congregation all my life, Harold Zion in Greensburg. Okay. And we uh, had an aim there who was a big influence on me, and the pastor there was wonderful. And my whole family went there, so it was a very warm atmosphere. And I grew up uh, with the opportunities to preach when I was 16 at a youth service. Ah. And... Um, in August of 2003, I think it was, I had the opportunity to preach while the pastor was away. And that was when I felt the call. And so I said, I want to do something in ministry. And I loved what our aim did with Christian education and youth. And I really felt strongly towards that. So I had a bachelor's in music education from Seton Hill uh -huh. College. And I had taught at Greensburg Central Catholic for a few years and did their band program. And I, uh, I, so I've always been in education and very much enjoyed it, but I really liked working in a church atmosphere. So I started my journey to uh, Lutheran Theological Seminary at Gettysburg, and uh, I was there for a year and a half. And I got the job actually after my first year of study there. I got my job at Holy Trinity. And so commuting back and forth to Gettysburg has been cumbersome. So mm. now I'm seeking a new route and looking at the select courses they offer here through the Synod and the ELCA as well as local colleges like Pittsburgh Theological Seminary or even Trinity uh, in Ohio to yeah. continue on. For folks that might not be familiar with the SELECT program, there are courses of study uh, that can be taken online and, and done uh, distance learning, as we sometimes call it, uh, and enable people like you to continue their education uh, and uh, continuing their growing edges, I guess we would say, uh, in, in areas that they might not be able otherwise to do that. Yes, it's a wonderful program. We've even used it, uh, at, I believe, at Harold Zion, and I think they've used it at Holy Trinity, some of the courses for Bible studies and things like that. So it's, it's a wonderful mm -hmm. coursework, and we're glad to have that program available to us. I think it's interesting also to hear you describe uh, your home church's pastor and other staff people. Uh, it really does say a lot when you have positive role models in the church uh, that can help uh, guide and inspire young people, isn't it? Yes, it's very important. Yeah. And you're, you're uh, stepping into one of those roles now. Yes. Uh, it's one thing to be the, the student and uh, the, the follower, the disciple, if you will, and uh, now you're going to become one of the mentors. Yes. Um, what, what kinds of programs have uh, Holy Trinity been um, having in place that have made it a, uh, an easy transition for you? Well, Holy Trinity is a very wonderful church, uh, again, with another family atmosphere. And they have a great sense of their baptismal connections and how important it is for Christian education and youth ministry to have its own person uh, aside from the pastor so that the pastor can do the ministry of the church and he participates. We have Pastor Clifton Sear, 
He participates very much with the youth and the children, but it's also a wonderful thing that we're able to put so much emphasis on that by having a DCEYM at the church. And so we offer a lot of programs um, from Bible studies to, of course, Sunday school. And then the youth program is a weekly program. We meet once a week, uh -huh. which you don't hear a lot of anymore. And we have a faithful group of youth that come out. And they've been graduating and going to college, and they still return. So I think that it's an important group to them. We attend Youth Fest and do things like that. So we have a very active group of youth and uh and our Sunday school program is, is very active as well. Yeah. Well, I think, as you say, it's particularly when folks are, are graduated from the program and move on to the next steps of college or, or jobs, if they are staying connected and uh, returning for uh, either events or just for visits, that, that speaks volumes about the relationships and, and how durable they are. Yes. Um, are you you related both with the director of Christian education, which would mean the Sunday school and the education curriculum, and youth ministry? Are there ways that those things are um, kind of tied together or uh, uh, woven uh, together so that it makes it easy for folks to participate in both? Oh, certainly. Our, uh, our a lot of our youth group meets for youth Sunday school, so we have a Sunday school program just for the youth. And then um, our younger kids, age four through grade six, have a rotation program going on. And some of our youth have helped in the classroom. They've helped teach and things like that as well. We have two adult Sunday school classes. One's a contemporary one that discusses the, the trends of the world today and how that relates to our faith. And uh, one is an, as a forum, an adult forum, where we talk about their own lives and how faith affects them and how they can better themselves in their faithful living with Christ. Mm -hmm. So we uh, get to see a chance for everybody to participate in all those walks. Yeah. And it's, it's a wonderful program. Very good. The one thing that you mentioned that I'm not sure many people would have caught or would understand what it is, is rotation Sunday school. I'm familiar with the rotation uh, program, but uh, some folks might. How, can you describe um, how that works and, and what the benefits or strengths of Rotation Sunday School are. Certainly. Uh, I was first brought to awareness of that when I was doing my first year at LTSG. Uh, I, we have to do what's called Teaching Parish. And I served in York at Christ Lutheran. And we had a rotation program that I got to witness. And the kids go from one room to another each week. And it's, I'm reminded of Vacation Bible School. I try to like it to that so that people can understand. Because in Vacation Bible School, they go to a music place, a science place, or whatever it is. That, and the way we run rotations is instead of going in one day, you branch that out over two or three weeks. And so you get to pull in different people from the congregation to teach different things that they feel comfortable with. So there might be an art class for three weeks on David. Um, and then you'd have a, a video that you show in another room on David. And then you have cooking on David. And so in each room, they get a little piece of the story and they get to experience it in a different way. Mm -hmm. And so for one week, they would go to music or one week they'd go to cooking. And that's three weeks and they've learned the same story and they're able to kind of retain it better. And if you have families that can't make it every week, then they at least get a piece of that story. So. Um, the kids really enjoy the hands-on and the fun. They have a good time doing that. Yeah. I think uh, for a while now people have recognized the strength of experiential learning and uh, that's certainly one of the key uh, principles of, of Rotation Sunday School. Thanks for helping to describe that for us today. Sure. We are at the point where we need to take our first break. Uh, time flies when we're having fun on Lutherans Alive. Thanks again, Michelle, for being here today.